Well, I think the team was set up in 2004, as far as I can remember. Uh, I wasn't here for that. Um, we've got about, probably about kind of 30 core players, and then we got other ones in for kind of tournaments that sort of show up or kind of, they don't necessarily come to training, but they turn up to the, the tournaments. We've got a men's team and a women's team. actually seem to be thriving. I mean, every every tournament that we go to, there seem to be more and more teams. I mean, Bratislava have just set up, Prague have just set up. Um, seems to be more teams popping up left, right and centre, which is uh, only a good thing. Uh, when I started playing a couple of years ago with the team, there was only really, in our region, there was only really us, Budapest and Munich. Um, so it was, it was pretty hard to get a game or get any kind of experience. Um, and now we've got about six teams in the region. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be getting a good few more games out of it and a lot more experience. This will have to be the same with boys. It's actually, we're a bit unusual in that we're, we're not mostly Irish. Um, I'd say maybe half the team are Irish. The rest are mostly Austrian, but also an awful lot of, kind of miscellaneous other expats. Um, kind of Polish, Canadian, Americans, people from the UK. French people, Spanish people, uh, we, we've got a, a real mix on the team, um, which, which I think is actually a nice thing about our team, because um, it, it, it does really help help you to get to know people, which is kind of, kind of to get back to your question, what I think the, the point of, of GAA in Europe really is, uh, socialising, setting up networks and getting to know people and having a bit of fun. Yeah.